turn the cursor. What is going on? It is your boy as a 33. Welcoming you back to another episode of Pokemon X. If you can't tell, this is another dog episode because I enjoy when I have my dog sitting on my lap while recording. Nevertheless, we're gonna proceed with caution as we head to the next place in our adventure. And yeah, you want to watch this, don't you? So, this little doggy here is called Mavis. Chinese Crested. Beautiful little thing. Absolutely loves me. I think. Her stomach's rumbling. Which is a sign and a half that she needs some food. But we're entering down here. And we're greeted with this guy. I know. Don't grip me with your paw. The Pokemon. The flower Pokemon. That Pokemon that was given eternal life. And he walks away. Very odd. Very odd indeed, isn't it, Papa? So, we learn nothing about that as we enter Luminous City for the second time in our adventure. Simkin! Hey, do you want to voice one of the characters? Hey? I ran after you like crazy when I spotted you up ahead. Know what? I hear the boat was back on there in Luminous City. Some really bad people were stealing electricity from the killer's power band. And then somebody came and stopped them. No one knows who. But they must have been awesome. Who do you think it was? Don't know. I, I, I don't know. We've got a Pokemon called that. Maybe they had something to be involved with it. I guess there's someone as strong as out there as strong as you think, King. And get this. They're gonna light the tower. Let's go see it, Tim King. It's Luminous City's most famous site! Yeah. This way! Straight ahead you'll run snack into Prism Tower! No. No. No, little bugger. No. So yeah, we go this way. There's a Team Flagrant there. Maybe we'll interact with him in a minute. But for now, let's go into the Pokemon Center. This town... If you don't know, it's probably one of the most interesting in, in the entire Pokemon history. Because this is one of the most unique sort of towns out there when it comes to Pokemon centers. Like, I love this place. It provides such an expansive feel to Pokemon with the 3D environment that's honestly quite amazing. Now let's go see what this little dick over here wants to say. The flaming red cafe is perfect for hot young stars like us. We really bloom when we're having lively debates about how to make a better tomorrow. So bitter. So dark. That's doing it right. Espresso is the oil that keeps our gears running smoothly. So the little red cafe. We'll have to have a look at that maybe a bit later. What do you think? Oh, you're tired, aren't you, Baba? Hey, little Baba tired, she wants to go to the little cafe. And she's getting a bit weird. Good timing! They're just about to turn on the lights! <laughs> look, it's Claremont! He is Luminal City's gym leader! He also makes... Is also good at inventing things and makes all kinds of face devices. Those two are my friends. Oh, friends! I'm not silly friends. What do you think? Are they good friends? Are they good friends? Give me a high five if they're good friends. No. Oh no, a little kid. Are you done yet? <laughs> Not quite. I just have to check uh, the lighting circuit here. Oh, sure. No. And you are a challenger? Sorry, 
but could you wait a moment? Come on, Claremont. Alright, everything's ready. The future is now, thanks to... My mic hitting the side of my pop cap. Thanks to science! Prison Tower Lighting Act System Activate! It's like we're playing Robot Wars here. Whoa. The lights come on. And yeah. The city might be black, but that's because the game doesn't work well. But here, the lights are on. I think you better call this feeling being entranced, right? Now I have another great memory with you, Sim King. Excellent. My prism tower lighting system worked brilliantly, just like all my inventions. Yeah, right, whatever. There are challenges waiting for you, you know. Prism tower itself is Luminous City's Pokemon gym. Claymon's <laughs> inventions sure are amazing, right? He gave me one of that solves puzzles, but it always feels like a shame to use it. So I haven't yet. Okay, good luck at the gym. Yeah. Spot which voice kills my throat the most. I'll give you a hint, it's the little bish that we just did the voicing for. <clears throat> no, it's not the Luminal City Gym. Which we are entering for this episode. And we're gonna have some fun here. Because it's gym puzzles, baby. And who doesn't like gym puzzles? Hey, you like gym puzzles as you're sniffing my mic. Ah! Uh, yes. Ah, you are the trainer from before. Come straight for a battle, have you? Well, good. You can call me Bonnie. I'm this gym leader's younger sister. Go ahead and step onto the small square with a few steps directly ahead of you, won't you? You'll have to answer my questions if you want to get further. Okay, let's enter a question. Quiz time. Who's that Pokemon? One, a Mogler. Two, Dedenne. Three, Pikachu. Go talk to the trainer with the same number as the right answer. It's you. You've chosen. You've chosen Pikachu. Let's have a Pokemon battle before we compare answers. Well, I'd rather compare answers before the battle. What do you think? Should we battle him? It's like we've not got a choice. He has a Dedene. Bit odd. Why would you have... You should have a Pikachu. The Pimpachu. <laughs> Big Pimpachu has a bonnet and uh, whatever the name of the uh, gym leader is. I forgot his name already, that's a good sign. Anyway, let's Night Slash. As my mic keeps getting knocked, I apologize. Can't help my dog being a pain. Other than putting her down, that would work as well. But she's a good dog when she wants to be, aren't you? She's just staring effortlessly into my eyes. She wants to lick my face or go ham, egg and chips on me with her claw, death claw that we've tried to teach her not to use but she still uses. Charge me. Oh, that's probably a dead Ayaka. I was not paying attention to this battle. Can you tell? Hey, Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? So this gym isn't my favorite gym because it's electric types and we don't really at this stage of the game have good electric covering other than really you go to sleep is my episode this boring you can do work against electric types with ancient power yeah didn't do too much so we're gonna have to crunch here Instead, speed things up. And we got flinched. And we got flinched. 
I want to flinch you. This is why I sped up, because this guy is just gonna keep being a dick in sleep. And now we should kill. Yes. We're winning! You and your Pokemon have what it takes to get to the top! 1k Moolah for beating you. Then step into the elevator! Oh! Ding ding ding! We got it right! Bang on! Correct Mundo! It was Pikachu! Ding ding ding! You are correct. Well, aren't you a clever one? Damn right. Okay. Let's step up to the plate yet again against Bonnie. And what's her question? Quiz time. Who's that Pokemon? Fletchling, Pidgey, or Talo? Go talk to the trainer who says I'm the... It's you. It's number one. Bird Pokemon? Hmm, that silhouette sure do come in all kinds of different shapes. But do you think it's fletching? You think it's fletching, don't you? Okay, but this is still a Pokemon gym. It wouldn't seem right if we don't fight. It would, because you can avoid trainers in other gyms, you person. And you have a Raichu. Are we going to kill a Raichu? I don't know if we're going to kill a Raichu. That's a damn sure. Let's start with some sea bombs. We're going to drop the bomb on this bomb. Because, boy, Raichu's a hot Pokemon. I mean, look at it. So sexy. Like a... And it blew up. 07 to the Raichu. He got bombed. And Chestnut leveled up. So level 40 on I don't know. It's always a good thing to get our team members up in levels. Anyone else gonna ding? No one else dinged. So yeah, there's a good thing there. And we get more money. Let's enter the lift, then step into the elevator. Bonnie seems like a lovely person, you know. She seemed ever so happy. Ding, ding, ding. It was Fletchling. Ding, ding, ding. You are correct. Well, aren't you a clever one? I love Bonnie's voice. As we enter the third floor. What's the quiz here? Quiz time. Oh. I don't know which one you are. Who's that Pokemon? Pansage, Panser, Pampor. Go talk to the trainer. I think it's... Pansage is the grass one. Panser is the fire. Pampor, which was... <coughs> Let's have a look at this. It's Pampor, I think. That's door three. Espanolo? Espanolo, you. Let's see if we're right. Because I don't remember if this is correct or not. So, if it's incorrect, we're going to speed up, else. Yikes. <laughs> I'm amazed I got this right. This is such a pain of a question. Don't you think. Yeah. My dog thinks it's a pain of the question. I think it's more of a pain that my mic keeps hitting the side. That's annoying. I really need to fix that. So I apologize fondly for that. What are you doing? You can't just flop. Well, you can just flop. Like you have done. Let's drop some bombs, shall we? Drop some bombies. Bomb lads. Bombs go brrr. And for us gets brrr. And we get to go up clearly in the elevator because we beat this trainer. UE leveled up. And what's the Lindra? Yes. 
Yes! Get rid of that. I'm actually gonna do something quite clever here. Wait, why did I get rid- I needed to keep Dragon Tail. That was part of my ace setup. Well, we can, uh... We can do work. In the next battle. Then step into the elevator. It's bang on correct. We got it correct. Pan Paul was right. Ding, ding, ding. You are correct. Aren't you a clever one? Thank you, Bonnie. Four, four floors already of battles. Let's see what this one is. Quiz time. I know what that is. Uh, yeah, I know which one that is. Yeah, I know what that is. Which one is pavilion? Is it number one, two, or three? Go talk to the trainer who's the same number as the right answer. Well, number one is Butterfree. Number three is Mothim. Number two is Vavillion. How do I know it's Vavillion? I've played enough of the new Pokemon Snap game to know which one a Vavillion is. I know what it looks like and the many different forms it can partake in. So we're gonna kill a plus all with some bombs. Bombas. Bombola. Bombo chakacha. I don't know what's going on. What do you think, Mavis? Do you think this is a good gym? She is just curled up in my arms like a little baby. Like, look, there she is. She's killed. She just flops backwards. Sort of one of her things for when she wants love and affection. So I just let her do it into my arms because I'd rather her not hurt herself by flopping into, say, the side of my chair. Instead, she flops into my arms. They're more comfortable than my chair metal parts. I guess that's the best way to describe it. Then step into the elevator. Uh, 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 uh. Ding, ding, ding. That's a three out, four out of th four? Three out of three, I don't remember. Ding, ding, ding. You are a clever trainer, aren't you, little one? Well, we arrive up here atop the tower. Let's just uh, quickly do a couple of the things that I think we need to kind of do. Oh, stop being a pain. For flip's sake. Yeah, you're knocking things, Baba. Let's just revive Ayaka. Just think so that they get a bit of XP. We're also gonna switch where Yui is in our party to the lead. Yui's getting battle time, folks. And Bonnie's up here as well. Oh, thank you again for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. This is the gym leader of Lunar City, Claremont. You better watch out. My brother's strong. As strong as you'd expect a Lunar City gym leader to be. Got it. Bonnie. How many times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor any other trainers. None of us would be here if it weren't for our Pokemon. I know, I know. Anyway, I hope you two have an awesome battle. She's right about that. At least, let's both do our best in battle. Well... Cue the best gym music ever, hands down, no debate, this is one of the best songs ever in Pokemon. And we're challenged by Leader Claremont, who starts off with an Amogla. I start off by destroying my microphone, but hey, who cares about that, am I right? So, let us go in hard, Amogla, I'm gonna Ancient Power. This is the reason why I'm starting with UE. Because it's part flying. 
and Yui could have got a boost. I'm also thinking I'm going to Stealth Rock here. Because Mowgli likes to Volt Switch. It's the same sort of one as, um, what's her name in uh, Gen 5? The electric supermodel. Yeah, she likes to do that a lot. So, this is the main reason why I'm starting with Yui. Was so I can get the Stealth Rocks down. Now we can begin by switching into Mayonnaise. Or Maya. Who can burn down this Steel Electric type. Because who doesn't like to kill a Magnetone? I for one love killing this little bitch. <laughs> why did I swear? No need for that. So we're going to Fire Fang. Let's see how much this does. Should kill. It did not. Electric Terrain though comes out. That's going to help all of his team. They're going to get a bit of a speed boost here. And we're going to go for a Fire Fang. And he's just going to heal. Okay. Crit, 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 crit. Not even close to critting. And he's just wasted both of his hyper potions. Nice. Poggy Woggy, as you would call it. So we're gonna almost kill, but burn. Burn, baby, burn. I would normally prep something here, but I don't think we need to. Because. It's just gonna die here. We didn't need to heal or do anything. So we'll just take the insta freebie kill and the rest of the team get the XP. Heliosk is next. Let's send in, I don't know. I, I don't know what to send in. Electric types are the bane of my existence. So I'm sending in, I don't know, just so that we can, we can stall, I guess. The Stealth Ox do their work. Let's Spiky Shield. Let's bait him into an attack. And he went for the Thunderbolt. We got the Electric Terrain to disappear as well. Also, can I just point out the design of this gym background? Like, it's so unique. Like, you've got the electric flowing in the background, like the dot pattern. The flooring's cool. I think this is one of the most unique battle battlegrounds they have had in Pokemon. Like, up until this point, bear in mind, I should say. Like, as time went on and on, they've improved it considerably. But yeah, we'll take out the Heliosk. And you're down to the Emogla, who I feel is going to die instantly. Because it's going to switch into the Stealth Rock. And they haven't removed that. Mud shot. Yes, please. This would have been so much more handy for this gym. I realistically should say, because they're electric types. Mud shot kills them stupidly easily. And we'll have it now. And Mogul is going to come in now. Let's just see, will it die? Will it die? It's part flying, so it should take a lot. It didn't die. I thought it was actually in red HP. Turns out it wasn't. Uh, aerial, ouch. That's gonna hurt. It didn't kill. Which means the bite will do enough. And we've beaten Claremont in his home city in Luminos. And we shall claim for ourselves a level up on Maya. Your passion for battles expires, inspires me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. M my brother lost. Oh, Bonnie, <laughs> when will you learn there's no shame in losing? I'm glad whenever I get to learn something new thanks to a strong trainer like this girl here. Normie girl does her job. Now, to do a... Tuna Victor goes the spoils. This voltage badge belongs to you. Look at that badge. So shiny. So electric. So good as we get ourselves the voltage badge. If you have the voltage badge, you will see 
you'll be seen as a friend and equal by any Pokemon up to level 70. And here, take this TM as well. Oh, I know, I know this one. It's TM24, that's Thunderbolt. It exec has the power of 90, and it's actually accuracy is a hundred percent it never misses it's really popular electric me because of that yeah thunderbolt pretty pog i like that tm ah uh, ah uh, bunny you the future is now thanks to science behold the machine that gives technical machines. I just wanted to be able to say it okay. At least once. Look, I'm not. It's not like I'm trying to make myself stronger. Or all I'm trying to do is enjoy every day to the fullest with my Pokemon. While doing the science <laughs> that I love with my inventing. Well, we have beaten... I forgot his name already. Claremont. I think it's time we uh, take the lift going down to the bottom floor as we exit the gym that we have just beaten. And the holo clip is received. Hello there. I wanted to talk to you for a bit. Could you come to Lysander Cafe? Do you know where it is? You can see it outside the Pokemon Center right by Prison Tower. It's the Red Cafe. Ain't that the place where all the flagrants like to hang out and discuss world domination? In Lysander's Cafe. We know a Lysander, don't we? He's the head of a tech corp, where... And he has his own cafe here, where Team Flare like to be. I think that's just a major coincidence. Just hop in a taxi if you can't find it. Be seeing you soon. Well, we've got our goal for next episode. And as such, we'll end this one here. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new if you want to, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.